In 1896, a group of pioneering scientists from Harvard University, New York University, and the Bermuda Natural History Society had an idea to establish a biological research station for research in biology, zoology, and oceanography. Seven years later, in 1903, they founded the Bermuda Biological Station for Research, housed within the Hotel Frascati in Flats Inlet. After the First World War, facilities were relocated to Agars Island in Hamilton Harbor to provide researchers with a more permanent location for their work. This was to remain BBSR's home until 1931, when the present site in Ferry Reach was acquired. During the early years, BBSR was primarily used by university professors and their students as a summer research facility. The station's proximity to the water, combined with its library and modern laboratory spaces, provided scientists with the tools necessary to conduct research on a wide range of topics, from pigmentation in sea slugs to the mating of Bermuda's marine glowworms. From humble beginnings at Flats Inlet, the original organization has grown from a seasonal field station into an internationally recognized center of oceanographic research and education. In 2006, BBSR was renamed as the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences, or BIOS, marking the beginning of a new era in ocean science research, exploration, and education. Recent advances, including the acquisition of the research vessel Atlantic Explorer, and the newly renovated facilities and lab spaces provide BIOS faculty, visiting scientists, and education groups with unparalleled opportunities for scholarship and discovery. <laughs> Research at BIOS represents a variety of topics in physical, chemical, and biological oceanography, as well as risk assessment. We started in 1992 after Hurricane Andrew talking with BIOS about creating a joint venture between science and the business community here that was addressing the issues of climate risk. Many of the local international insurers were very, very excited about the possibility of, to, to be able to better predict what the risks, and, and insurers like to know what the risks are going to be. So we decided to start an operation called the Risk Prediction Initiative, which I'm happy to say still exists today, and which was an experiment in linking those two to the relevance of the business community in Bermuda, which had just arrived with climate risk and extreme events. BIOS is proud to be home to two of the world's longest continuously running time series studies, as well as a number of globally relevant research programs in biooptics, satellite remote sensing, and ocean acidification. Recently, thanks to bioscientists, investigations into the process of aging in sea urchins yielded exciting new information in the field of cancer research. In addition, our education programs reach thousands of students from the surrounding community every year, and our relationships with colleges and universities at both undergraduate and graduate levels in the US, Canada, and the UK extend the reach of BIOS well beyond Bermuda's borders. Bermudians live surrounded by water, and I think it's very important as an island people that we, we know a little more about our neighborhood. The work that BIOS is doing now has global implications. That goes without saying. Government looks to this station for its for help with impartial and fair scientific advice. I think we're now beginning to realize that some of what happens scientifically has an impact on us, and, and I'm saying I think we should know more about it, and I think that BIOS serves that need. BIOS' role effectively is, is having young people start from the very beginning, learning and understanding our environment. I think that will produce a, a, a population in the future that understands and knows what our challenges are and the direction we need to go in. With more than 100 years of research and experience behind us, BIOS is committed to paving the way for future research and education initiatives, from the Sargasso Sea to the polar regions and from the shoreline to the deep ocean. At BIOS, we work to understand the ocean, because if we better understand the source of human life, we might learn how to make human life better. That's ocean science for human good. As we learn these things, then we can become, if not necessarily the scientists ourselves, we can become the supporters. It's just like people who understand the importance of the arts. We are the patrons. BIOS! 
Ocean science. For human good. <laughs>